In this video sewing tutorial, I will show you how to sew a special hat with transparent shield made from clear vinyl. I made a sewing pattern in two sizes, adult and child. You can find the link to the pattern in the description under this video. The project is very easy even for beginners. The hat provides good coverage for your nose, mouth and eyes without blocking your view and can be used indoors and outdoors. It's safe for kids, it doesn't fog because it's uh, not very close to the face. The vinyl shield can be disinfected with alcohol. The head has thin straps to secure it under the chin on windy days. What you will need? Fabric for the head, medium weight cotton. I will say more about it later. Fabric for the lining of the hat, clear vinyl, I will say more about it later also, thin elastic for straps, regular sewing notions. I have chosen organic 100% cotton jean fabric from online store fabric.com. This is a medium weight fabric which doesn't need interfacing. I decided not to use interfacing because I wanted the head to be comfortable to wear even indoors, for example, when you go grocery shopping, and to be well ventilated. For the lining I use 100% cotton batiste. Cotton jean fabric was a good choice because the head has to keep its shape well. I wanted not only to be protective but also looking good. Pre-wash your fabric in hot water before sewing and iron it. Cotton fabric may shrink after laundry, so you don't want surprises. For this project I recommend 16 gauge or 20 gauge clear vinyl. The higher the gauge, the thicker the vinyl. The vinyl is flexible but durable material. It's waterproof, it's sturdy without being rigid. It's easy to sew, easy to clean. Some vinyl is even ultraviolet treated. Some manufacturers say that their clear vinyl can be machine washed, cold and tumble dry low. Others say that it can be cleaned by wiping down with warm water and mild soap solution. I advise you to check out the full tutorial before proceeding. Step 1. Download the pattern pieces in the size you need, adult or child. You can find the link for the patterns under this video. If you want to print pattern pieces and then to use them for cutting, choose files in PDF. If you have a Cricut machine, you can use SVG files. But I'm not very experienced with uh, making SVG files, so those pattern pieces in SVG format don't have necessary markings on them. So print PDF files anyway to transfer the markings. Don't cut fabric with Cricut. Cut just the pattern pieces from paper and after that cut the fabric with fabric scissors. For my hat I cut the pattern pieces with Cricut. That's why you see this colorful paper. Seam allowances are included and they are 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter. So, what are the pattern pieces?
Step 2. Pin the crown edges right sides together and stitch the crown at center back. Do this for the main fabric and for the lining. Pin also the brim edges right sides together and stitch each brim piece. You should have two of them at center back. Step 3. Press all the seams open. Edge stitch the crown along the center back seam. Step 4. Pin the top to the crown matching symbols that divide the pattern pieces in four equal parts. Clip the crown in three four places between the symbols. Stitch and press seam allowances toward the crown. Cut the seam allowances of the top piece with pinking shears close to stitching. Do the same for the lining piece. Edge stitch the crown along the seam. Step 5. Stitch two brim sections together along the outer edge. Trim seam allowances close to stitches with pinking shears. Press the seam allowances on one side. Turn the brim right side out. Baste along the seam and press. Make a stitch along the inner edge of the brim, quarter inch or 6 mm from the fabric edge.
Step 6. Pin the brim to the crown, matching symbols. Pin straps at the side symbols also. Stitch, making sure you stitched over straps a few times and uh, press seam allowances toward the crown. Step 7. Place the head and the lining right sides together and make a stitch at the brim section. Leave a few inches for turning the head to the right side. Turn the head to the right side and close the opening by hand. If you want to know how to do an invisible stitch by hand sewing, check out my tutorial on how to sew an invisible stitch on my blog hberry.com. Step 8. Now let's start making the clear protective shield. Cut the pattern piece 4 from clear vinyl in a single layer. You can use a rotary cutter and a cutting mat, but vinyl can be cut by scissors, especially that it's only one piece. In the finished item no vinyl edges can be seen. Clip the center point of the straight edge. If you need to take wrinkles out of vinyl, use an iron on medium settings, sandwich the vinyl piece between cotton fabric pieces and press for a few seconds. Step 9. The curved edge of the vinyl shield has to be finished with a bias tape. You can make a bias tape yourself from the main fabric as I did. But you can also use a ready-made bias tape that coordinates with your fabric. Now I have to draw a line at exactly 45 degrees angle to cut on bias. I use this fancy ruler that gives me the 45 degrees angle. And after that I make the lines to cut the bias tape. The width of the tape in my case is 5 cm or around 2 inches if you prefer in inches. The length of the bias tape is around 32 inches. I like to use my bias tape maker to make my bias, bias tapes. For this project I use a 2.5 mm metal bias tape maker. You can read how to do it in my tutorial 
bias tape tutorial how to use the bias tape maker on my blog hbury.com. Step 10. Now we need to attach the bias tape to the vinyl piece. I like to use this glue, the ultimate. It dries clear and doesn't gum up uh, my needle too much. It's better to fix the tape over vinyl before sewing. You can do it with sewing clips called wonder clips or you can do it with glue as I did. After glue dries out, make a stitch attaching the bias strip to the vinyl shield. Use a straight stitch of your sewing machine and set the stitch length to 3 mm. If you cannot keep equal distance while top stitching, check out my tutorial How to Sew Straight on my blog hbury.com. Step 11. The shield is ready to be attached to the head's brim. Start attaching the vinyl piece from the center front. Mark center front on the brim with a marker. You can use one the clips for this, but uh, pins can be used also. The vinyl will have small holes from pins, but they are not visible. Keep the seam allowances around 3 eighths of an inch or 1 cm. It's not really comfortable to pin the vinyl, but I did it little by little. Step 12. Sew the vinyl shield. Keep the vinyl side up and the fabric side down on the needle plate. Stitch length is 3 mm. Use a straight stitch. If your sewing machine doesn't want to move over vinyl, use a Teflon presser foot. I use it to sew leather all the time. Or walking foot or rotary even foot. Read about the foot in my tutorial Press a Foot Guide. What is a rotary even foot and how to use it? Step 13. Now it's good to put a few rows of stitches on the brim to make it a bit harder so it keeps its shape.
And now the head is ready. The head provides good coverage for your nose, mouth and eyes without blocking your view and can be used indoors and outdoors. It's safe for kids and I think it's much easier to put on your child than a face mask. It doesn't fog because it's not very close to the face. The vinyl shield can be disinfected with alcohol. The head has uh, thin straps to secure it under the chin on windy days. Make this head today and stay safe. You can find the link to the pattern under this video.